Zach here, and today on Why I Made This, we've got the Argonaut, the little octave up pedal, the brother to the Argo. So, just like every other Why I Made This, we're going to talk about why I made this, what's the sound, who's it for, and are there any caveats. So, why'd I make this? Years ago, Josh Smith reached out to me and said, hey, could you take the Green Ringer circuit and make it in a mini pedal format? Doesn't need any knobs, doesn't need anything, just needs an LED and a foot switch and jacks. And I said, yeah, let's try it. So, seeing as I'd already had the Argo out, I thought this would be fun to kind of create the companion to that circuit, name it something similar. The Argo was the ship in Jason and the Argonauts. The Argonauts were the crew of the ship, so Argonaut. I chose that name without really thinking about how that might confuse people. This doesn't share any circuit similarities to the Argo. This is based on that classic green ringer circuit. So, what's the sound? This uses a pair of new old stock germanium diodes. Those diodes are matched best we can, so they're nice and even. They share a similar forward voltage, so that gives this circuit a really nice octave up that is present really all over the fretboard. Unlike a traditional octave up, where you're only kind of getting that octave sound further up the fretboard, this kind of works everywhere. It's weird down low, but it's working. And the beauty of this circuit is that you can pair it with a pushed amp or an overdrive and a fuzz to get those iconic octave fuzz sounds really easily. You can pair it with something like a Mjolnir, a Golden Fleece, or something you already have. And that's why people have latched onto this. It's small and you can just put it anywhere on your pedal board and get that octave up sound pretty quickly. It's really a nice addition to most boards. So who's this for? If you want an octave up sound, this is an easy way to get it. It's small, it's not expensive, and you can hide it on most pedal boards. Especially if you're using a switcher system, sometimes you could shove this underneath the board and I've seen people do that. So you just activate it on your switching rig and you have it hidden away as a secret weapon. Now, are there any caveats? Not really. It works in most places on a board. The diodes can be a little uh, sensitive to extreme temperatures, but it's minor. You're not really gonna notice it. And yeah, I can't really think of a lot of faults to it if this is the sound you're wanting. It's not a very modern sound, it's a very traditional sound, and it's interesting and weird, but that's the beauty of it. And I think that's kind of the beauty of traditional and vintage octave up sounds anyway. So check out the demo of the Argonaut, hit up a Mythos dealer, or check it out on mythospedals.com if you wanna learn more. Thanks for watching, see ya.